Welcome to episode 258 of Clarity Compressed. My name is Paul J. Daly. I will be your host. And today, if you're watching, you can see I'm not at home. I'm at one of the biggest trade shows in automotive in the world. Let <laughs> the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. Okay, we're just getting done day three. It's actually, uh, it's our fourth, fifth, fifth day on the ground here in Dallas, Texas, home of the Philadelphia Eagles. And uh, of course, I'm going to say that actually, I'm going to put this in here right now. Today, they're playing an Eagles game. We're going to watch the Eagles game in Dallas, which is going to be great. But uh, we've been running and pounding the pavement on the floor in the automotive industry. And as you know, I do a lot in the automotive industry. We've covered this entire event with one of my companies, Asotu. You should check it out, A-S-O-T-U. And we've gotten to talk to hundreds of auto dealers and industry partners and people who are actually serving in communities throughout the entire country. And I know there's a stigma on auto dealers and I know that for some of you, you've had a variety of experience experiences, but what I found after interviewing a lot of consumers in general is that their experience with their local auto dealer is actually a lot different than what the stigma is. And I can tell you this, spending time with dealers all, from all over the country on a regular basis lets me know that actually these are really caring, empathetic people that desire to remove the stigma because they actually serve their communities in a real way. I thought of this concept, so my kids grew up in the auto industry, or at least the last 20 years have been in the auto industry, and they've met so many of these dealers over the course of travel with me sometimes and a lot of our friends are auto dealers and their kids etc and if they were ever in trouble in a place where they weren't familiar with and they saw an auto dealership they would go there because they would assume that there are really great people in there who will help them and who will take care of them and I know that that's the reality of the industry and I'm trying to change that and work with a soda to do that so let me tell you one insight and here's what I want to share with you here's like the nugget that I want to bring back to the Clarity Compress community, even though many of you aren't in the automotive industry, but many of you are entrepreneurs and leaders, or you're trying to, to move forward in your company. I know a lot of you, you know, follow people like Gary Vaynerchuk and Simon Sinek and Jocko Willink, and you're always on this path of like getting some perspective on your position so that you can grow and move forward. We were at a booth, um, Actually, a company you probably recognize, True Car. It's a company that is very retail facing as well, but in the automotive industry, they're a partner of automotive. And we were speaking with one of their executives and uh, having a little podcast. And, you know, maybe we'll link it up so you can see it if it's posted by the time this podcast goes live. And I said, if you could give one piece of advice to an industry in transition and change into 2023, what would it be? And he said, have the courage to doubt yourself. Have the courage to doubt yourself and if I pull that apart a little bit when you when you aren't free or able to doubt yourself or question why you're doing something or say is this really the best way what it's actually a sign of is insecurity it's that you're so insecure about your position and you're trying to flex and you're trying to um, you know pretend that you know all the answers and so you can't doubt yourself and you certainly can't ask questions or doubt yourself in front of other people. And so when here this high powered executive says, have the courage to doubt yourself, it really unlocks that element of insecurity. And if you do have enough courage to say, hey, you know what? Maybe there's a better way to doing it than the way that I think we should do it or the way I've been doing it. And I don't have to protect the way I've been doing it because I know that doubting that and questioning that is actually how I'm going to get better. And Unlocking that is actually the path to improving and the path to growing. So that piece of advice, have the courage to doubt yourself. I would encourage you to think about the areas in your life right now where maybe you feel a little insecure about, maybe you feel like you have to protect it because at any moment people are going to figure out, I don't really know what I'm doing. Here's a hint. I feel like that all the time. At <laughs> any moment, they're going to realize it's me in this room with all these executives and they're going to kick me out. But I would encourage you to push past that because if you're open and transparent and you said, you know what, maybe there is a better way to do it. You know what, maybe I can listen to advice and not take it personally. If that's the case and you have the courage to doubt yourself, well, now you're going to get the perspective you need to actually go forward because a lot of people are nice and they really won't tell you, right? Because they're like, oh yeah, that's a great idea. But maybe they don't think it's a great idea, but they're just nice people. So they're not going to tell you that. But if you say, but I'm not sure this is the right way to go. What do you think? What do you think about it? At that point, you're going to get more perspective on what you're doing, which is, you know, in, in this podcast, and I, I think of clarity 
That's just perspective, understanding where you are on the map so you can make the, the next step forward. So have the courage to doubt yourself. A little wisdom from an executive at True Car. I wish I remembered his last name. We'll try to tag him up. His first name is Alan, um, spelled A-L-A-I-N. And so I wanted to share that with you. And for my five days here in Dallas, Texas, um, on the show floor at NADA, the National Automobile Dealers Association. Now I'm going to watch an Eagles championship playoff game in Dallas in a Dallas bar and grill with a bunch of Eagles fans. So if I never see you again, this I guess we're signing off if I never see you again after this moment. No, we're going to have a lot of fun. So again, thanks for being part of the community. Thanks for listening to the show. And if there's anything I can do for you, even if you want to doubt yourself uh, in a closed community or a closed spot, send me a DM. You can doubt yourself. It's safe here. And I'll give you my perspective and help you get where you need to go. Talk to you next week. We can-